cake. So this is his uh, laboratory. Dude, he looks badass. So you didn't bring Quervorus. And yet, it was in both our interest. You're not making my job any easier. That's for sure. I'm done with being a tool. <clears throat> I only obey myself. Oh yeah? oh, yeah? And you decided what? What's your secret goal? How can you know what you want if you don't know who you are? If you are, in fact, nobody. You've never lived anything. You didn't ask to be here. Me, I crossed two centuries of nightmares to reach Akanash. I lost everything. Forever. Now, since you're so worn out, why don't you let go? You're just a bunch of old memories that are overflowing, screaming to get out of your skull. You're good for nothing. Listen. You and me, we have one life between two. You got the past. Leave the future to me. It's a fair deal. Why are you so desperate to kill me, Rakash? Me, who brought you into existence. I want to kill you because... Well, at least I know it was my idea. Oh, really? Well, I can't argue with that. And yet, I could almost have whispered it to you. I'm so tired after all these years. All these voices gnawing at my mind. I came here to finish it. So, asking you to kill me is almost a good idea. Assuming, of course, that you're able to, which isn't the case. Oh, you think so? Wait and see. Yeah. You little bitch! You bitch slap me, you little punk. You little fucker. I don't have any health. That's not cool. Ah! <laughs> Come on, please! Ugh. God damn it. Uh, okay. <laughs> ah, come on! Fuck! Ugh. Okay, so it's okay. We we will try and jump away. Yeah. Fuck! Duh! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Uh. Fuck! Oh! Uh. This this is not not cool, man. Run away! I tried to kill myself. <laughs> oh, he throws a dagger at me! Come on! It was my idea. Ah! Fuck! Okay. <laughs> yeah! Fuck I you, bitch! Oh, fuck you! Kill myself. Saved. Long ago. That's an elf. I tried several times. I was finished. But all this damn amber running in my veins won't let me die. Oh, so he can't die? Oh, how are we supposed to kill him then? Can't you like train yourself of the uh, amber? 
something? Is there no more? Oh, that's... Okay, so we're actually gonna kill him here. Well, that was kind of obvious. Okay. The fun is over. I don't need a defective tool. Ah, my head. I can't stand it. Shut up. Everyone, shut up. Ah, I feel it. An elf. He's approaching. Quick. Get out of here before my head explodes! This... This reflection... It's me? What have I become? A... A rakash... A monster... What have I done? I feel so weak. How long ago did I leave my family? I am no longer worthy of being an orc. May my ancestors forgive me. Holy shit, bro. What? What? <sighs> Where am I? Emmet, you're alive. I was afraid that I would arrive too late. What? You saved my life, Elf? Why? I may have a few screws loose, but I think if any of you assholes were friends of mine, I'd remember it. We have a common enemy. I am an ambassador, the elf representative to the humans. I know that Styx aims to steal the heart of the tree. <laughs> and the tree cannot live without its heart. Its death will lead to the destruction of Akanash. Styx is constantly seeking to poison relations between elves and humans in order to have a free hand. All it needs is a spark, and then it will be war. And you were counting on me to stop him? I know that Styx and I look alike. I'm the one who just got my ass kicked like a rookie, you know? He's stronger than me. I can't beat him. You will stop him. These are things that we elves can foresee in the Amber. But for that, you must rid yourself of his mark. The one that allows him to maintain his hold over you. And I know a way. What? Where do I sign? Does it hurt? Tell me, damn it! Without this link between us, I could face him on equal terms. At the moment, you are but an imperfect duplicate. But if you were to place yourself inside one of our empty cocoons, you could become complete and be reborn as a perfect creature of the Amber. Anything to break my link to sticks. Make it quick. Time is short. Take me to an empty cocoon. <clears throat> I will do it. But there are more pressing matters. The destruction by Aeron of the bridge that leads to the heart puts us in a situation close to war. But it has allowed us 
to delay Styx's plan. Now that we have Querberus, we must get him out of here. Without him, Styx will never find out how to reach the heart. All that remains is for you to escape his hold, and then to track him down and kill him. And I shall help you. But the most urgent task is to restore diplomatic relations between humans and elves. I have requested an audience with the governor. I shall expose the scheming of his son, Aeron. As a man of reason, Barryman will understand, and tensions can be eased. I just need you to collect some documents from the library. I shall tell you more on the way. Very well. I'll help you to get these documents, and then we put Quirberus in the first airship leaving the atrium, and I get rid of this cursed mark. And finally, a Styx hunt. I think I'm gonna enjoy this. Thank you. But before I leave, I must tell you that the other elves do not look kindly on our cooperation. Do not expect to be treated as a friend by my kin. The feeling's mutual. Okay. That's kind of fucked up. Clones don't use amber vision. I don't care about that. I have all here. Predator. Uh, guess we can like max out agility. Cool, cool. Cool. Boop. Hello. Well, listen to me. I shall tell you what to look for. Ah, damn it, I'll never get used to it. How do you do it? Not go batshit with people talking inside your head. How do humans not go crazy by being alone inside their heads? Loneliness is good for no one. Yeah, well, I'd pay a lot just to be left alone. Ah, forget it. Tell me what you know. We must prove that Aeron is diverting Amber away and selling it to Akhenosh soldiers. This sacrilege violates the agreements between my people and Governor Barryman. And we must prove that Aeron is using prisoners as experimental subjects for I don't know what fantasy of his to control his kind. Alright. You sure? 
sure that his father won't give him a medal for that? No. Barryman is not like that. He is a politician, a diplomat. He adores a challenge. He wants to control people by his power of conviction when he addresses the crowd. Not because he has drugged them beforehand. Aaron is just looking for a shortcut to power. So, the evidence I'm looking for is in the library? You should be able to find the accounts of the distillery and the warehouses signed by Aaron. By cross-checking the data, it will be easy to show that a large amount of amber is lost along the way. In the same way, you can obtain prison registers, which will reveal the unbelievable increase in the number of deaths among prisoners since Aaron has been in charge. Okay, I got it. Bring them to me. I take it upon God. myself to convince Barryman. Get it, shut the fuck up. Are we are we done? Thank god, dude. That was long. <laughs>